This is a CBS2 update. I'm Mary Calvi. Here's what's happening in the news. The health department investigating the apparent flu-related death of a five-year-old Brooklyn girl. Sources tell CBS2 the girl had flu-like symptoms on Friday and became unresponsive Saturday night. If flu is confirmed, she would be the fourth child to die from the virus in the city this season. New information on one of last year's worst hacking incidents. It may have been even worse than originally thought. The attack targeted credit bureau Equifax. We knew hackers stole Social Security numbers, birthdays, driver's license numbers for 145 million Americans. Now the Wall Street Journal reports the stolen data also included tax identification numbers and driver's license states and issuance states. The additional data could make it even easier for hackers to open credit lines or file false tax returns to get refunds. The Department of Transportation is out with some good news for air travelers. The agency reporting that the number of passengers getting involuntarily bumped from their flights is at the lowest it's been since 1995. In 2017, airlines reported an average of 0.34 passengers out of every 10,000 were bumped. Last year, Spirit Airlines had the highest rate of involuntary denied boardings, while Delta had the lowest. Happening today, some prize canines are putting their best paws forward at the 142nd Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show. The dogs have been here all weekend taking part in speed, agility, and other competitions at Pier 94. But today's the first day the big show heads to Madison Square Garden. Best in show will be crowned tomorrow evening at the Garden. Now let's get to your forecast. Here's John Elliott. Sit. No, I'm just saying if you, you know, that's funny because I love dogs. All right, so outside right now, 11 o'clock. It's 42 degrees. It's cloudy. It's colder than it was this time yesterday. It's a lot colder than it was uh, this morning. Wind chills right now in the 20s and the 30s. And yes, you are not imagining things. We have seen a little bit of sleet. We've seen a few flakes out there. I mean, the atmosphere is drying out, but anything that's falling now that it's so cold is in flake form. Heaviest rain still south and east. Uh, a lot colder tomorrow. Nice warm up for Valentine's Day. Mary? All right. Good timing there, John. Thanks so much. That's your CBS 2 News update. I'm Mary Calvi. Join us in just a moment for a live Facebook after show.